what's up guys? Uh, I normally don't like doing vlogs in the morning because of the sun and shit. I've probably said that before. Uh, sun don't seem too bad at the moment. So, well, maybe now it does. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and do a vlog anyways. As some of you from Facebook already know, I got my very first ever uh, speeding ticket yesterday on my motorcycle. It's not my first speeding ticket ever, but it is the first one I've ever gotten on my bike. And I was doing, I looked back at my footage and I was doing 52 in a 30. And uh, he says he clocked me at 55, which, you know, it's close enough. I'll give it to him. But uh, he actually wrote the ticket for 40 miles an hour and uh, told me that that would save me about 200 bucks. I'm not sure uh, if he thought I was just gonna go ahead and pay the ticket or what, but I'm not stupid, so I'm not doing that. Um, basically, basically in this area, uh, the cops' main source of income is traffic tickets. And uh, I was foolish in not paying attention where I was at because I know they sit there all the freaking time. And, uh, yeah, just cruising along, enjoying the nice, cool breeze, not paying any attention. And sure enough, there he was. I didn't even know why he was pulling me over. I was like, I didn't do anything wrong. Come on. But, uh, yeah, it, it sucks. I got two speeding tickets in one week sometime last year while driving Mrs. Cricket's car. Uh... One was like a 95 and a 60, and the other was probably 80 something and a 55, I think. I don't remember what the speed limit is in the city. That's probably why I got the speeding ticket. So, uh, yeah, I definitely earned both of those. But until then, I had never had a speeding ticket. It was, you know, warnings and don't do it again. Uh, I had gotten a bullshit ticket before from a bullshit police department for obstruction of license plate. Uh, I used to live on a dirt road and my license plate had a little mud on it and you couldn't. I could see it fine. Everyone else could see it fine. I haven't stopped by cops before and they could see it fine, but this little prick who pulled me over for no fucking reason because he was in front of me and stopped. Hello, turtle. He was in front of me at a, at a stoplight and he stayed still and let me pass him and then immediately got behind me and pulled me over before he could even see if there, the dirt on that license plate. So he stopped me for no reason at all and then came up with that bullshit in order to give me a ticket to justify his stop. I hate them sometimes. The cops in general are not bad guys. There's a lot of bullshit videos out there right now that try and make them look bad, and I know I've said this before, but it, when you're instigating the cop, yeah, odds are he's going to start fucking doing something ignorant to you because you're doing something ignorant to him. It only makes sense. If you're going to be that 200 pound person who's flailing around on the ground while they're trying to put you in handcuffs because you're acting fucking irate. Uh, yeah, chances are they're gonna fucking hit you. I'd fucking hit you. If you're re I don't care if you say I'm not resisting while you're resisting, you're still fucking resisting. If you are not putting your hands behind your back when they're fucking telling you to, you are resisting and they have every right to whoop your ass, in my opinion. And there's also a bunch of videos saying, like, so-and-so teaches cop of the law. And most of these people just sound stupid. They're trying to ramble off some bullshit law that they don't even understand properly. And saying, well, you can't arrest me because blah, 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 blah. And they're quoting some obscure law that has absolutely nothing to do with the situation at hand. And then they get all upset when the cop puts them under arrest. And they're like, oh, wrongful arrest. You people are just 
I've got to say, coming from uh, the neighborhood that I was growing up in as a younger child, uh, I, I expected to see a lot more shitty cops than I did. Uh, I've actually seen a lot more good cops than bad cops. And I've seen some pretty shitty cops. Um, my mother was actually T-boned by a car and the other car was completely at fault, was speeding and not paying attention to what they were doing, just bam. And uh, there was a cop maybe two or three car lengths behind this vehicle uh, who did not pull this person over. And not only did not pull this person over and witness the entire incident, it gave my mother a ticket for uh, failure to yield to somebody who shouldn't have even been where they were at. And it's just so a couple months later, we find out why. Apparently, this car and this officer are transporting drugs together. So, yeah. Of course, you know, the ticket was not amended. Uh, but yeah, the reason that person didn't get in any trouble that day is because they had a car full of drugs. And the officer was escorting them to wherever the hell it was that they needed to be. Definitely a bad cop. So since I've shared a story about a bad cop, I'll share a story about a good cop. And I can't think of one in particular that I like better than another. Um, I was out visiting a friend and uh, it was a little bit late. I had a, a old Honda Prelude. I guess it wasn't old at the time. It was a uh, 97. And uh, I had a bunch of friends with me. We had more people than the car could technically hold. Uh, and I was in an area uh, north of St. Louis that I'm not familiar with because that's where my girlfriend at the time lived. And we were headed towards uh, one of the malls in the area. And uh, basically just cruising through some back street neighborhood area. And apparently I ran a stop sign. I say apparently because I never saw the stop sign. However, everyone else in the car did see the stop sign and they told me immediately after I ran it, they're like, dude, you just ran the fucking stop sign, what the hell? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then the cop pulled me over. And he was like, you know you ran the stop sign back there? And I said, no, I didn't actually. I said, I did not see any stop sign. They said they saw it and they told me right after I ran it, but. I'm not from around here, and I didn't know it was there, and he was cool. He went back to my license plate and kicked a half inch of mud off of it because he's not a dick like that other cop. Got my license plate number down and let me go with a warning. I mean, we had no seat belts, ran a stop sign. <laughs> we were probably out after curfew. I don't remember how old we were, but I remember we were young and he still let us go, and he kicked off like a half inch of mud off of my license plate. If, if I was gonna get a ticket for obstructing, it would've been that day, not the other day. The other day, it wasn't even bad. It was like a light dusting. So there's my good cop, bad cop story for the day. Leave your good cop, bad cop stories in the comment section below, or do a reply video even. I like watching videos, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.